I'm from the Midwest. And interestingly enough, all the years I lived in California, of course, we don't, you don't have thunderstorms in California, not like you do in the Midwest. I think people in other states don't understand. Our thunder in the Midwest is so loud. It shakes the windows, shakes the house, shakes the floor. It's almost like an earthquake. So as a young person, of course, this terrified me, terrified me. And I'd go dive under the bed, and, and one day my grandmother kind of pulled me out from under the bed and said, well, you know, it's perfect day to go make thunder cake. And I kind of said, well, what's that? And she got the ingredients out, and this meant we had to do different things to get the ingredients. The chocolate and the flour were kept out in the dry shed, which really wasn't that far from the house, but to a child. This is, this is the last mile of your life to go out there and get that, especially all those clouds are coming in and we'd hear the thunder, see the lightning and she, she would have me do it. I did it anyway. And that's where I learned also when you see the lightning crack, did you know it's scientific that when you count slowly, when you hear the thunder, that's actually how many miles away the storm is. So we would do the countdown as the storm was getting closer. So she had me go in that shed. She stood there. I mean, she didn't leave me alone. And I, I, I was afraid because there were spiders and things in there that I didn't, I just didn't want to go in there. But I'd get the little bag of flour and grab the little thing of chocolate and she had me climb a trellis to get some tomatoes and go get milk and we had a cow that kicked. And she didn't make me milk the cow, but she made me, you know, she didn't make me. I stood there while she was milking, but I was afraid of her. And I went to get eggs from a hen. I don't know if you can see it, but I still have the scar right here. Because that hen one day grabbed me right, right here and then they hit you with their wings. So I was afraid of that chicken. At any rate, when we got into the house and put all the ingredients together, she said, well, you know, all of the things you did today means you're very brave. And I said, well, no, I'm not. I'm scared to death. She says, yes, but I faced all of the fear. And that's when she made me realize thunder was only a noise. That's all it is.